ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय वेलकम ऑल टू टुडे इज रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री चैतन्य चरितामृत आदिवीला चैप्टर 14 वर्सेस 33 ऑनवर्ड्स विल बी रीडिंग टुडे मुखम करोति वाचालम पंगुम लगायते गिरिम यत कृपा तमम वंदे श्री गुरुम दीन तारेनम परमानंद मातरम श्री चैतन्य ईश्वरम हरि ओम तत्सत आत्म लुकायते प्रभु बलिला तानहरे तानहारे आगे के न यह मात न शिखाले मोरे द लॉर्ड रिप्लाई टू हिज मदर व्हाई डिड यू कंसील सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन बाय नॉट टीचिंग मी दिस प्रैक्टिकल फिलॉसफी इन द बिगिनिंग सो यस्टरडे वी नो हाउ दिस लवली एक्सचेंजेस वर गोइंग ऑन बिटवीन शची माता एंड महाप्रभु so mother and son, Vishwambar, as he was known in, in the childhood, him and his mom, Shachi Mata, were having words of exchange and the lovely philosophy was being discussed when Mahaprabhu was found eating dirt by Mother Shachi as little Vishwambar. So the purport by Shri Prabhupada, Shri Prabhupada ki jai, if from the beginning of life one is taught the Vaishnav philosophy of duality or variety, the monistic philosophy will not bother him very much. In reality, everything is an emanation from the super source, Janmadi Asiyataha. The original energy is exhibited in varieties exactly as the sunshine, the original energy emanating from the sun exhibits itself in variety as light and heat. One cannot say that light is heat or that heat is light. Yet one cannot separate one from the other. Therefore, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's philosophy is Achinte Bheda Abheda. Inconceivable non separation and distinction. Although there is an affinity between the two physical manifestations, light and heat, there is also a difference between them. Similarly, although the whole cosmic Manifestation is the Lord's energy. The energy is nevertheless exhibited in varieties of manifestations. Verse 34 Ebe se jani lan ar mati na khaiba kshudha lage yabe tave to maras tana piba. Now that I can understand this philosophy, no more shall I eat dirt. Whenever I'm hungry, I shall suck your breast and drink your breast milk. Verse 35, Eta Bali Jananira Kolete Chariya Stanapana Kare Prabhu Ishat Hasiya. After saying this, the Lord smilingly slightly climbed on the lap of his mother and had the milk. Verse 36, Aimate Nana Chale Aishwarya Dekhaya Balya Bhave Prakatiya Paschat Lukaya. Thus, under various excuses, the Lord exhibited his opulence as much as possible in his childhood and later, after exhibiting such opulences, he hit himself. Verse 37. Atiti viprera anna khaila teena bar pache gupte se vipre karela nistar. On one occasion, the Lord ate the food of a Brahmana guest three times and later in confidence, the Lord delivered that Brahmana from material engagement. And we've heard this uh, story so many times and Prabhupada is going to explain elaborated on in the purport the story of the deliverance of this brahmana is as follows a brahmana who was touring all over the country traveling from one place of pilgrimage to another reached navadvip and became a guest in the house of jagannath mishra jagannath mishra gave him all ingredients for cooking and the brahmana prepared his food when the brahmana was offering the food to lord vishnu in meditation child limai came before him and began to eat it and because of this the Brahmana thought the whole offering had been spoiled. Therefore, by the request of Jagannath Mishra, he cooked for a second time. But when he was meditating, the child again came before him and began to eat the food, again spoiling the offering. By the request of Jagannath Mishra, the Brahmana cooked for a third time, but for a third time the Lord came before him and began to eat the food. Although the child had been locked within the room and everyone was sleeping, because it was late at night, thus thinking that on that day Lord Vishnu was not willing to accept his food and that he was therefore ordained to fast, the Brahmana became greatly agitated and cried aloud, Higher, higher! What has been done? What has been done? 
When Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw the Brahman in that agitated state, he told him, Formerly I was the son of Mother Yashoda. At that time you also became a guest in the house of Nanda Maharaj. And I disturbed you in this way. I am very much pleased by your devotion. Therefore I am eating the food you have prepared. Understanding the favor offered to him by the Lord, the Brahmana was greatly pleased. And he was overwhelmed with the love of Krishna. He was thankful to the Lord for he felt himself greatly fortunate. When the Lord asked the Brahmana not to disclose the incident to anyone else, this pastime is very elaborately explained in the Chaitanya Bhagavat Adi Khanda chapter 5. Verse 38 Chore Lana Gela Prabhuke Bhaire Paya Taras Kandhe Chadi Aila Tare Bhulaya. In this in his childhood, the Lord was taken away by two thieves outside his home. The Lord, however, got up on the shoulders of the thieves and while they were thinking they were safely carrying the child to rob his ornaments, the Lord misled them. And thus, instead of going to their own home, the thieves came back to the home of Chikanath Mishra. Purport, in his childhood, the Lord was profusely decorated with gold ornaments. Once upon a time, when the Lord was playing outside his house, Two thieves passing on the street saw the opportunity to rob him, rob him. Therefore, they took him on their shoulders, pleasing him by offering him some sweet meats. The thieves thought they would carry the child to the forest and then kill him and then take away the ornaments. The Lord, however, expanded his illusory energy upon the thieves so much so that instead of carrying him to the forest, they came right back in front of his house. When they came before his house, they became afraid. Because everyone from the house of Jagannath Mishra and all the inhabitants of that quarter were busy searching for their child. Therefore the thieves, thinking it dangerous to remain, went away and left him. The child was brought within the house and given to Mother Shachi, who was in great anxiety and she became satisfied. This incident is also very elaborately explained in the Adi Khand of Chaitanya Bhagavat, third chapter. So we can read the parallels from Adi Lila in Chaitanya Charitamrit, also in Chaitanya Bhagavat Adi Khanda. Verse 39 Vyadi Chale Jagadish Hiranya Sadane Vishnu Naivedya Kaila Ekadashi Dine. Pretending to be sick, the Lord asked some food from the house of Hiranya and Jagadish on the Ekadashi day. Purport the Chaitanya Bhagavat Adi Khand chapter 6 fully describes the Lord's. Accepting Vishnu Prashadam on the Ekadashi day at the house of Jagadish and Hiranya. Regular Prashadam is offered to Lord Vishnu on Ekadashi because although fasting is recommended for devotees on Ekadashi, it is not recommended for Lord Vishnu. Once on Ekadashi in the house of Jagadish and Hiranya Pandit, there were arrangements for preparing special Prashadam for Lord Vishnu and Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked his father to go there to ask for Vishnu Prashadam because he was feeling sick. The house of Jagdish and Hiranya Pandit was situated about two miles from the house of Jagdna Mishra. Therefore, when Jagannath Mishra, on the request of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, came to ask Jagdish and Hiranya for the prasadam, they were little astonished. How could the boy understand that special prasadam was being prepared for Lord Vishnu? They immediately concluded that Nimai must have supernatural mystic power. Otherwise, how could he understand that they were preparing special prasadam? immediately sent the food to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through his father, Chikanath Mishra. Nimai was feeling sick but immediately after eating the Vishnu Prasadam, he was cured and he also distributed the Prasadam among his playmates. Shishu Sabalaya Pad Ara Rasira Ghare Churi Kare Dravya Khai Mare Balakare as usual for small children, he learned to play and with his playmates, he went to the houses of neighboring friends, stealing their eatables and eating them. Sometimes the children fought among themselves. Verse number 41. Shishu sabu shachi sthane kaila nivedana shuchi shuni shachi putre kichu dila ulahana. All the children lodged complaints with Shachi Mata about the Lord's fighting with them and stealing from neighbors' houses. Therefore, sometimes she used to chastise or rebuke her son. Verse 42. Kene churi kare kara kara kene maraha shishure kene para ghara yaha kiba nahi kare. Shachi Mata said, Why do you steal 
others things why do you beat the other children and why do you go inside others houses what do you not have in your own house purport according to the vedanta sutra janmadi asayatah since creation maintenance and annihilation exist in the supreme absolute whatever we find within this material world is already in the spiritual world shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is the supreme personality of godhead krishna himself how is he stealing and how is he fighting it is not as a thief or an enemy but as a friend in a loving condition he steals as a child not because he is in want but out of natural instinct in this material world also small children without enmity or bad will sometimes go to neighboring house and steal and sometimes they fight krishna also like other children did all these things in his childhood without the existence of stealing propensity and fighting propensity in the spiritual world they cannot exist here in this material world the difference between the material and spiritual worlds is that the stealing in the spiritual world is done in friendship and love whereas stealing and fighting and stealing within this material world are executed on the basis of enmity and envy therefore we should understand that in the spiritual world all these activities exist but there is no inner variety whereas in the material world all activities are full of miserable conditions or like this here in pur- purple from shila prabha they are elsewhere that they are in a perverted state verse 43 shuni krudh hana 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 prabhu ghar bhitar yana ghare yat bhanda chila phelila bhangiya bhanda like we say in punjabi bande so in a uh, bengali also it bhanda means pots chila there were thalila he threw them bangiya breaking the rebuked by his rebuked by his mother the he law the lord would go in anger to a room and break all the pots within it this is the parallels from damodar lila isn't it verse number 44 tabe shachi kole kare कराइला संतोष लज्जित इला प्रभु जानी निज दोष देन शची माता वु टेक हर सन ऑन अ लैप एंड पैसिफाई हिम एंड द लॉर्ड वुड बी वेरी मच अशेम्ड एडमिटिंग हिज फॉल्स परपोर्ट देर इज अ नाइस डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द फॉल्स ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु इन इज चाइल्ड हुड इन द चैतन्य भागवत आदि खंड चैप्टर थ्री वेर इट इज सेट दैट इज अ चाइल्ड द लॉर्ड यूज टू स्टील ऑल काइंड ऑफ ईटेबल्स फ्रॉम द हाउस ऑफ नेबरिंग फ्रेंड्स इन सम हाउसेज ही वुड स्टील मिल्क एंड ड्रिंक एंड and in others he would steal and eat prepared rice sometimes he would break cooking pots if there were nothing to eat but there were small babies the lord would tease the babies and make them cry sometimes a neighbor would complain to shatima shatima ta my child is very small but your child puts water in his ears and makes him cry verse 45 tabhu mridu haste kaila mata ke mata ke taadan माता के मूर्छित देखी करे क्रंदना वंस द चाइल्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु चेस्टाइज हिज मदर विद हिज सॉफ्ट हैंड्स एंड हिज मदर प्रिटेंडेड टू फेंट सीइंग दिस द लॉर्ड बिगन टू क्राई वर्स 46 नारी गण कहे नारी केल देह आनी तबे सुस्थ सुस्थ हा इदेना तुमार जननी सुस्थ इज आई थिंक बिट लाइक स्वस्थ लाइक वी से इन हिंदी will be cured that means will be cured nari kela is coconut in bengali the neighboring lady told him dear child please bring a coconut from somewhere and then your mother will be cured verse 47 bahire yana anilena anilena dui nari kela dekhiya apurva haila vismit sakala <coughs> He then went in outside the house and immediately brought two coconuts. All the ladies were astonished to see such wonderful activities. Apurva is wonder, this wonder. Verse forty-eight. Kabu shishu sange snana karile gangate kanya gana aila tahan devata pujite. Sometimes the Lord would go with other children to bathe in the Ganges, and the neighboring girls would also come there to worship various demigods. Purport. According to the Vedic system, when small girls ten or twelve old would go to the bank of Ganges to take their bath, they would especially worship Lord Shiva with prayers to get good husbands in the future. They especially wanted to get husband like Lord Shiva because Lord Shiva is very peaceful and at that time most powerful. 
Formerly, therefore, small girls in Hindu families would worship Lord Shiva, especially in the month of Vaishak, April stroke May. To take bath in Ganges is a great pleasure for everyone, not only for adults but for children also. Verse 49 Ganga Snana Kari Puja Karite Lagila Kanyagana Madhe Prabhu Asiya Vasila. When the girls engage in worshipping the different demigods after bathing in the Ganges, the young lord would come there and sit down among them. Verse 50 Kanyare Kahe Ama Puja Ami Diba Vara Ganga Durga Dasi Mora Mahesh Kinkara. Addressing the girls, the lord would say, Worship me and I shall give you good husbands or good benedictions. The Ganges and Lord Goddess Durga are my maid servants. What to speak of for the demigods? Even Lord Shiva is my servant. Purport. There is a misconception about the Hindu religion among the people who profess their other religions like Christians and Muslims who say that in the Hindu religion there are many gods. Actually, that is not a fact. God is one, but there are many other powerful living entities who are in charge of different departments of administration. And they are called demigods or the Devi Devatas. All the demigods are servants who carry out the orders of the Supreme Lord the personality of Godhead Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu disclosed this fact in his childhood. Out of ignorance, some, some, sometimes people worship the demigods to receive some particular boon, but actually one who becomes a devotee and worshipper of the Supreme Personality of Godhead does not need to go to the demigods for any benediction because he obtains everything by the grace of the Supreme Lord. The Bhagavad Gita 7.20 and 28 therefore condemns such demigod worship Kame stai stare rita gyanaha prapadyante anya devataha tam tam niyamam asthaya prakritiya niyata swaya. Holy persons whose intelligence is lost and who are mad with lusty desires worship the demigods and follow the particular rules and regulations of worship according to their own natures. Yesham tva antagatam papam gyanam jana jana. Jana nam punya karmanam te dvandva boha nirmukta bhajante maam drida vrataha. But persons who are freed from all sinful activities and the duality of delusion engage themselves in the worship of the Supreme Personality of Godhead with determination. Only the less intelligent worship the demigods for their various purposes, the most intelligent worship only the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna, sometimes we, the members of Krishna Consciousness Movement, are accused of not approving the worship of demigods. But how can we approve this when it is condemned by Lord Chaitanya and Lord Krishna? How can we allow people to become foolish and with the jnana bereft of intelligence, with the jnana bereft of intelligence? Our propaganda is simply meant to enable intelligent people to understand the distinction between matter and spirit and understand that supreme personality of Godhead who is the whole spiritual identity that is our mission. How could we mislead people into worshipping so-called gods in material bodies within this material world? Our position of not lying worship of many hundreds of demigods was confirmed by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu even in his childhood. Srila Narutam Das Thakur has sung in this connection Anya Devashraya Nai Tomare kahinu bhai e bhakti parama karana. To become such a staunch, pure devotee of the Supreme Personality of Godhead within, without deviation, which is ananya bhak, one should not divert his attention to the worship of the demigod. Such control is a symptom of pure devotional service. I will repeat, to become a staunch, pure devotee of the Supreme Personality of Godhead without deviation, which is ananya bhak, one should not divert his attention to the worship of the demigod. Such control is a symptom of pure devotional service. So we'll continue our reading from here onwards next time. Thank you for joining. Hariyam Tatsat. Hare Krishna.